colleagues, I am honored today to stand and adjourn in memory of a good friend of mine, uh, Greg Schmidt. Greg Schmidt, who for those of you who knew him in his time as Secretary of the Senate, my relationship with Greg goes back to when he had a full head of hair. He served this House in the Human Services Committee in his time, the Labor, Employment, and Consumer Affairs Committee, Senate Committee on Elections and Reapportionment, Staff Director of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chief of Staff of the Pro Tem. And then started in 1995, he became the Secretary of the Senate, where he served until two years ago. So his time leading the Senate spanned much of the era of the imposition of term limits. He uh, is remembered as someone who was a great mentor, friend, always had a word of advice. Uh, he represented the body not just on the floor, but nationally and internationally. He was on the uh, National Conference of State Legislators Committee, uh, Criminal Justice Committee, the chair of the California International Relations Foundation, a member of the American Society of Legislative Clerks and Secretaries. He is survived by his children, Jeffrey, Karina, John, and Thomas, great-grandchildren, Kai, Jaden, Damon, Nathan, Parker, Annika, Claire, Cash, Tegan, Gordon, and Lola. When I think of Greg, he had a profound effect on people. And in the last week, I've had occasion to reach out to many who knew him to just sort of understand how they felt in the wake of this. And a good friend passes away, you, you get all kinds of things that surface. Personally, I can remember encountering him in the old Judiciary Committee in the Senate. The whole conversation that interests me of oversight is something that Greg actually set in motion by an inquiry of me back in 2010 about how to do oversight and sort of set me thinking about that in a systematic way. And in an odd sort of thing, without going into details, in some respects, I would say I serve on the floor here because there was a need the Senate had, and Greg encouraged me to get involved with helping them address a need. And it brought me back into the process after having been gone for 18 years. But for those who knew Greg, they say things like, and after his loss, I'm sitting here in the dark thinking a million things, running through my mind all the times Greg was a rock for all of us. He comforted all of us and made us feel like we were part of something bigger. He did it dozens of times over his career. He was one of the true men of letters, uh, better read than most college professors and scholars, but never made a show of it. It's just something that would surface if you talked with him, and I can attest that this is very much true. Thinking of his faith, he was a Catholic, this person observed that it was very much a deep part of him. And I think of that because there is an expression that comes out of the New Testament that says, um, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. And I think this notion of this man of great quality who served the institution for so much of his life, running the good race, keeping the faith even to the end, just this morning, I had the occasion to spend time on the phone with John Burton, former president pro tem of the Senate, knew Greg very well. And John gave me permission to share this. John recently had the opportunity to visit Greg in his home as the end was near. And he said that he spent, you know, an hour and a half with Greg. And the end of which leaving, he just felt uplifted that somehow just being with Greg Schmidt, even as Greg Schmidt's life was failing, this quality that so many of his friends talk about of just being this rock, being this person of sage advice, this person that was a source of strength, even in death, as it approached, that quality did not abandon Greg Schmidt. So I just, um, it is an honor to ask that we adjourn in his memory today and I would just say the, the closing comment, uh, I went up to the Senate Rules Committee on the morning that word was out that he had passed. And outside what had been his office for so long, I, I found a note pasted on a column from his colleagues, which I think tells you something about how they loved him and the fun of that office working with him. It said simply, Greg Schmidt, 
Godspeed, Elvis has left the building. I request we adjourn in his memory. Thank you, Mr. Cooley. Ms. Olson, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. It has been a tough year of loss for our legislative family, and now with the latest loss being with Greg Schmidt. When I first met Greg, I was a Senate associate, now called Fellows, and he was, well, Greg Schmidt. He was intimidating until I later got to know him. He was the head of the Rules Committee, the powerful Senate Rules Committee, and the Secretary of the Senate. From the perspective of this Senate fellow, he seemed to be in charge of everything and everyone. What I learned later was that in the Senate, he was in charge of everything and everyone. He was John Waldy, now Deborah Gravert, and Dotson Wilson rolled into one. But I also learned that he was a great guy. He had integrity, a great sense of humor, and both a love for and knowledge of this institution that was unparalleled. He treated Republican and Democrat staff alike. We were part of the Senate family. He took pride in placing fellows and termed out staff. I know because I was one of them. And it was the experience that I had as a fellow and then later as a Senate staffer that helped guide my presence here today. So many in this Capitol building were touched by Greg Schmidt. He was a leader, a scholar, an exemplary public servant, and most of all, a gentleman. His impact on this building and the people in it was profound, not to mention the people he touched from around the entire state of California. We are all better for it. Years later, I remember being here in the State Assembly. It was my first year as a member, and I was carrying a particular bill for Portuguese American veterans, and I got to just my wit's end dealing with a particular state agency. And who did I run to, because I had no idea where else to go, but to Greg Schmidt. And I thought, can you please help me figure out this morass of a mess? And he did. I was an assembly member in my first term, but he made it a priority to see if he could help me move things through the Rules Committee in a way that would unlock bureaucracy in this particular state agency. He didn't have to, he didn't have a reason to, but he did because he cares about members, he cares about this legislative family, he cares about the state of California, and his memory will last forevermore here in this building. So colleagues, thank you for joining all of us in adjourning in the memory of the Secretary of the Senate, Greg Schmidt.